a welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and I'm on a mission to hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you click that button below and I would appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to embroider on beanies. And this one's actually kind of fun for me because my uncle actually reached out to me and he needs about 24 beanies created for a polar plunge that he participates in every single year um, basically in New Jersey on seaside shores. And basically what they do is they do a fundraiser which raise money for the Special Olympics. And he's been doing it for quite a few years. So I'll pop up some photos of him participating in that. And it's really cool. So this year he is going to be making beanies for everyone who's participating and also anyone who actually does do a sponsorship. So I thought it was super nice for him to reach out to me and we'll be working on that order today. So keep watching. Watching. All right, so a couple things that I did speak with him about is one, we went ahead and picked out a good beanie. This is the color that he chose, which is just a simple brown color. Originally, he was thinking something neon, but then I guess he does create a theme every single year. I'm not really sure of the theme of this year, but we went with these really nice, in my opinion, they almost remind me of like a military brown color. So I really like these. And then we went ahead and created an image. So it's called Chili Cheeks. That is the name of his group. Um, obviously when you are getting a new image, always make sure to pre-run it. I already done that. So all that we're going to do today is really just show you guys how to properly hoop and embroider on a beanie. So let's get started. So for me personally, what I personally like to do is, um, obviously we have the beanie down here and I just put a piece of tape. So I remind myself exactly where we need to put the image as well as just maybe creating like a little arrow. So this way we remember, I know you can't see that right there. Basically what that's going to do is remind us that the image needs to be like facing this way. All right. So what I've learned best, honestly, is just to flip that beanie inside out. And here is our marker reminding us exactly where it needs to sit. And with this, um, obviously you need to use backing. This is tearaway backing, so it's super simple. And honestly, you don't need like a full sheet. So I will go ahead and cut this in half. And I'm just going to place it inside. Okay, now I do own Mighty Hoops. I do love this one. I believe this is the, what size is this? Oh, the 5.5. So there you go, 5.5 Mighty Hoop. This is going to make it super quick for me to be able to do. Remember that this side is going to face up. This side is not as magnetic, so remember flags down. So that's just the way I remember, and trust me, I sometimes don't even remember that. All right, so now we have the backing secured in here. We have the hoop installed, and then let's just clip that down. Perfect. All right, and now let's go over to the machine. All right, so one thing that I do, I'll squatch squat down, uh, squat down. One thing I do want to make mention is guys, just make sure that your bobbin is brand new. And the reason that I'm going to say that is because when the beanie goes inside, your bobbin case is going to be completely covered. So I'm honestly probably going to run a few images and then just keep checking my bobbin because the last thing I want to do is have to pull off the entire um, design to replace my bobbin. So I don't feel comfortable doing that. I know some channels are okay with it. I'm just not comfortable enough with the machine yet in order to do that. So that is just my helpful handy tip. All right, I already got everything programmed on here, color set up, everything of that nature. So again, I have my tape, so I know that the image is facing the correct way. And all I'm gonna do is basically pull this down because this is going to go under really inside so we're gonna cover the bobbin arm with the bottom half of the beanie all right don't forget to take the tape off all right now we can get started 
Making sure the right color's on. Yep, right color's on. Perfect, let's go. Project. Now, of course, I do have some loose strings. This is normal. So just go ahead and cut those off. There you go. All right, so the back, of course, we just have to peel this off because like I said it is tear away so it's just simple and now at this point you guys just flip it back and then up and there you have it your first completed beanie looks good see the detail Final beanie! Woo! All right guys, I am extremely excited to say I am officially done with all 24 beanies. So, this is all of them here. And um, it did take me a couple hours to complete them. So aren't they so cute? They turned out adorable. I know yesterday it took me about three hours and then today it was like maybe an hour. I had to leave early and uh, attend an, uh, an event. So that is why I took an extra day to do them. But otherwise they are completed and they are going to be shipped out tomorrow first thing in the morning to my uncle. So I really appreciate you guys watching and hopefully this video was very helpful. If there's anything um, else you guys would like to see on my channel, just let me know below and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.